So this massively bulky thing um, that I'm having trouble getting a good image of, let me tweak the polarizer here, that looks better, um, is something that I picked up at the local, oh hey, I forgot I can pull way back, hey, look at that, there we go, much better. So this massive bulky thing I picked up at a local hardware store called Rona, um, I'm just noticing that I'm overdriving the mic slightly. And it's an LED uh, lantern thing, fire simulator. And it's actually got a, a pretty decent effect. And um, considering I've already tried to record this video twice now, um, I know a lot more about the, uh, the mechanism that's inside it uh, because I've had to record this a couple of times, but it's got a very clever mechanism inside it for creating this rather nice fire effect. So I figured let's go ahead and take it apart on camera for the third time um, and show you guys what it does. So uh, bear with me a moment while I turn everything on again and we'll go ahead and open this thing up. Um, so let's plug the main lights back in. Here we go. Gonna be a big pulse of light. Let's uh, zoom, zoom back down to the normal setting. Get the focus in a little bit and let's go ahead and take it apart. So um, you aren't going to be able to really see what I'm doing but I'll talk through it as I'm doing it. Um, of course, in order to take it apart, I need screwdrivers. Ah, there they are. Not my best set of screwdrivers, but they're out in the living room and I don't want to run and grab them just right now. So, there's uh, four screws here on the bottom that I'm going to remove. I've already lost one during my previous attempts at uh, recording this video. I've had uh, some technical issues today. Um, I also haven't recorded videos in quite a while. Um, apologies for that. Uh, I'm back on track now, though. <clears throat> I think, maybe. Um, got most of the medical stuff out of the way. And uh, finally having some time to myself for this kind of stuff. So, let's go ahead and work this out of the bottom. It's completely off camera, which is nice because I actually want to hold off on the reveal. <clears throat> right, so now that that's out of the way, we have a much smaller module, and this is so clever. It's it's really well well designed. I'm I'm uh, quite amazed at it. But anyway, so this is how it produces that fire effect. So what we have here is some. Warm white LEDs going along the front here, and they produce the just sort of general illumination and the sort of uh, glowing effect of the coals. And then we've got another light bar here. Um, this LED seems a little superfluous, so I wonder if that could have been made longer to produce a better effect or something. But uh, we've got the second LED bar here shining up through this motor that has a bunch of these sort of randomly assorted shiny pieces of plastic. <clears throat> and then um, over here is a switch with a little little brain, a little timer, and a uh, crystal uh, there for, for timing because on the bottom here we've got on, off, and timer. Now for demonstration purposes, I uh, in the store they had these um, little clicky button try me things that sort of bypass all of the circuitry and just put power in. It uses a couple of, of uh, lithium cells, uh, little lithium coin cells, uh, but normally it's supposed to take two C batteries, which I've discovered is somewhat ridiculous because I uh, <clears throat> snipped off the, the JST connector from the uh, Try Me button and soldered it onto a, a little two AA thingamabob I had here, which I then double-sided tape, double taped onto it just for fun. Um, and then I put two double A's into it, and it ran for four days before it finally crapped out. So I don't know why you would need C batteries for it. 
But anyway, that's what it looks like when it's running. And if I hold it out here, where you guys can't actually see, it actually shines that little glimmery fire effect all over the place. It's, it's really cool. It, it throws it all over the walls. Um, and it's just very clever because while it's not perfectly random, it's random enough that you can't really see any patterns when it's running inside the machine. Anyway, I'm going to turn that off because those LEDs are actually quite bright in my eyes there. So yeah, um, it's a really cool thing, and I'm already planning some upgrades to it, because uh, C batteries, powering the thing with C batteries is just kind of silly. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to harvest some uh, random parts from other little <clears throat> things that I have lying around the workshop. Um, like I've got a a little tiny, a little itty bitty lithium pack um, somewhere around here. I hope I didn't lose it. Um, it looks a little bit like this one, but it has the charge protection circuit on it. This one doesn't actually have that. Um, but the other one that is around here somewhere does. Um, that one also doesn't have it. Um, it's around here somewhere. I was just looking at it a few minutes ago. But I'm going to harvest the uh, charge protection circuit from that battery and I'm going to attach the charge protection circuit to a larger lithium pack that I'm going to harvest from one of those hand warmers that I disassembled a little while ago. And I'm going to put um, one of these, just the little USB charge control circuit that I harvested from uh, the dollar store uh, USB power supplies. I'm just gonna stick the lithium cell in here with the charge circuit um, and then I'm gonna take a spare uh, USB lead. And I've got a do dozen and a half of those and uh, just drill a hole, solder it onto this so there's a USB lead um, that I'm then going to store in the compartment that the C batteries used to be in. So that way it'll have a nice high capacity lithium ion battery in it with charge protection circuitry so that you know it, it won't over discharge because I'm going to connect directly from the battery into the circuit um, just because uh, the nominal voltage of the battery is 3.7 volts. Um, this already has uh, some current and voltage control built into it, so I think giving it 3.7 volts isn't going to bother it too much. Um, and it should run for a goodly long time, and it'll be rechargeable. So, uh, yeah, look forward to probably a multi-part series where I'm doing that coming up. But that's enough for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider clicking here to subscribe. Right over here is a video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy that's selected from my channel. Right over here is, I guess that'll be the Teardowns playlist, because this was technically a teardown. And right over here will be a link to Patreon that you can use to help support the financial needs of this channel. Thanks so much for watching, thanks for being patient while I was on my hiatus, while I took care of my health, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.